Hello, my name is Devin, and today on WJA TV News, we are going to be talking about a very important event called the Civil Rights Act. This event took place in the 50s and 60s. This event took place all across the United States. The Congress and the courts fulfilled the promise of the 14th Amendment. There was a fundamental debate for the constitutional question. Civil rights has been around for a very long time. Congress had considered to pass the bill, but they failed to pass it every year from 1945 to 1957. U.S. President London B. Johnson signed landmark civil rights bills, including the 1965 Voting Rights Act and the 1968 Fair Housing Act. The Voting Rights Act is a bill which serves to protect and enforce the 14th and 15th Amendments. The Fair Housing Act is a federal act in the United States in the U.S. intended to protect the buyer or renter of the dwelling from seller or landlord discrimination. In 1957, Congress managed to pass a limited Civil Rights Act, which was added in 1960. Also in 1963, President Kennedy went on television calling out for a robust Civil Rights Act. Hello, I am Nicholas, and today on WJA TV News, we are going to talk about a very important man, Mr. Thurgood Marshall. He was born January 2nd, 1908 in Baltimore, Maryland, and died January 24th, 1993 at the age of 84. Marshall graduated with honors from Lincoln U. Three years later, he received his law degree and began private practice in Baltimore. A year after that, he began to work with the branch of National Outreach Association of Bands of Colored People. Marshall won his first major civil rights case, Murray v. Pearson, then became an assistant special counsel for NAACP. In New York, he won his first 29 Supreme Court victories. He also won the Shelley v. Kamara which Supreme Court strikes down the gout. Strikes down legality of racially restrictive comments. In 1951, he visited South Korea and Japan to investigate charges of racism in the U.S. armed forces. He reported that the general practice was one of rigid segregation. In 1954, he beat the Grounders Board of Education of Topeka and ended racial racial segregation. He also became the first African American elevated to U.S. Supreme Court from 1967 to 1991. Then he retired from the Supreme Court at age 82 in 
Hello, I am Nicholas and today on WJA TV News we are going to talk about a very important man, Third Road Marshall. He was born January 2nd, 1908 in Baltimore, Maryland and died January 24th, 1993 at the age of 84. Marshall graduated with honors from Lincoln U. Three years later, he received his law degree and began private practice in Baltimore. A year after that, he began to work with the branch of National Association of Anthony and Colored People, the NAACP. Marshall won his first major civil rights case, Mary Rose Pearson. He also, he also then became assistant special counsel for NAACP in New York. He won his first 29 Supreme Court victories. He also won the Shelley vs. Kamar, which Supreme Court strikes down legality of virtuality restrictive comments. In 1951, he visited South Korea and Japan to investigate charges of racist, racism in the U.S. Armed Forces. He reported that the general practice was one of the rigid segregations. In 1954, he beat the Brown versus Board of Education of Topeka and ended racial segregation. He also became the first African-American elevated to U.S. Supreme Court in 1967 through 1991. Then he retired from the Supreme Court at age 82 in 1991.